Hello DJ Sam here for another video. This is part two of the cleaning stuff from a nightclub. Um, I did this off camera. I cleaned this up. It took me about three, four hours of cleaning. It was really badly molded. Really badly. Uh, I'll show some images. It was horrendous. Inside there it was horrible as well. It was just packed with mould from the inside. It was awful. It still needs a little bit of work doing on it with cleaning and stuff. I need to re-plug it. Well, I plugged it, but I need to re-plug it because obviously I'm not the best at doing it. And uh, I did a bit of a poor job. Sorry, my camera's being a douchebag. But yeah, that was just horrendous. Uh, the earth wire was covering up where the hole is to screw it in. So it wouldn't screw down. And then there was mould literally building up on the back here as well. So I wanted to get this out, this amphi out of here. But the screws have shredded. And I can't get them out. And I don't want to drill them through. Because that's what's holding this amp together. And I don't want to knacker that bit. So I don't know what to do on that part of things. So I might just leave as is. Uh, I just wish there was a way I could stick something on there and turn it. But these are broken off, which is a real, real shame. But it's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And um, I'm in the process of cleaning this uh, properly. And we'll do it in this video. We'll test it out. We'll make sure it works. Um, I hope you like these types of videos. I know I enjoy filming. I need to clean that again because there's some bits that's like, because you see that it's a bit tart. It's a bit like polished. So I'll get polished. I'll give that a clean up. And uh, yeah, let's make sure this test to see if this works. I'm gonna clean it with a with a brush, get all the things out of it. Whoa, careful! <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna put some spray cleaner, uh, some uh, contact cleaner in these because usually these can sound a bit crackly, and I'll clean these up best I can. So yeah, let me put you on the stand. We'll do a bit of cleaning. I'll do some cleaning. Uh, and we'll test it out, make sure that everything's working. Now in the mould infestations, this one's just as bad underneath here. So that's what it was like, but a lot worse. Some parts, it was like two inches thick of just pure mould. I was like, ugh. So I've got this one to clean next. But I need to speak to the owner. Um, blah, blah, blah. The previous owner to see whether he's got, whether he'll sell me the amp unit to go within this unit. And then I can get this one working as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Uh, I'm a bass player. I've got my bass here. I do play bass. Not very well, but I do play. Might show a bit of that at the end. If this is all plugged up. But yeah, let's just see how we get on. Let's go ahead and clean this up. I'll just move some stuff out of the way a little bit. So you can you can see what we're, what we're, what we're going to do. Um stuff like that so yeah let's okay so you can probably see there hopefully so that's our plan now is just to get this up and cleaning uh, just so that it's all nice if I can see there's dirt in it spray the insides of here make sure that everything's and I'll clean the outside of it and uh, I'll polish the front before I put it back together. Let me just adjust you there. Um, yeah, because we've got a fair bit of cleaning to do. Uh, a fair bit, I must admit. <laughs> and I do love cleaning. I do. I do love cleaning electro electronic equipment because it's cool. One of my favourite things to do um, is cleaning. So.
the joys of filming. I lightly squeezed the uh, the thing to focus it and it uh, stopped the camera from recording and I wasn't aware of it and I just carried on and I've just recorded a whole thing and obviously this wasn't wasn't being filmed so I, it does work all the channels are working etc I'm going to show you and go through go through with it so what you need to do first first thing you need to do is switch the mixer on okay because when you switch it on it then makes this like signal go poof, like that then switch your speaker on okay because if you switch the mixer off with the speaker on this is what you're going to get and that is not good and it'll happen when you switch it on as well so make sure you switch your speaker off mixer on give it a couple of minutes then switch it on and there you go it's fantastic it works great You've got like a, an echo button here. That's your game. There's your crossover. Now the peak master's not doing anything because I'm not peaked enough, so I need to do this. And the, the ironic thing is, it goes blue when it's turned up all the way. There. So I'm just going to switch it to channel R. No, left, sorry. Now just watch that, because that one there, which looks, it goes blue. Yeah, oh, it wants to come out, it's bleeding through. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird. Let me just turn all this up. Yeah, it's blue. It goes green, then blue, and then it goes red. I've never seen that before on a mixer. Never. Yeah, it's weird. That's weird as anything. I've never seen that before, never. That's the microphone. That's the microphone. So the microphone, you can uh, you can put echo on it, so that when you uh, mess around with these echo one two echo echo, that should be. Oh, hold on, DJ mic. Echo 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 echo. One two 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 one two. So that works. And then what you could do, you could do talk over. So when the mic once turns up a little bit, it dims the music. Definitely going to be added to 
my PA collection because these are always something that I'm I like uh, and I'm hopefully going to get more stuff from that nightclub as well because all the original stuff that was in there had been put in the shed for as far as what I for as far as I know so there'll be some more good stuff like this in the shed so yeah it's awesome I love this um, this thing this unit's just class really really is and uh, it's definitely gonna have a lot of use definitely um, yeah so like I said to you before uh, in the start when you switch this on make sure that you switch it on by the mixer first before you switch the speaker on because obviously if I switch it off now you're going to get that and it's going to do it when it comes on as well because that's going to go like that so that's why you should switch your speaker off and switch the mixer on first so that you don't get that horrible feedbackiness and this needs to be rewiring because if I wiggle it around like this <laughs> yeah you see what I mean? Wow, that's not good yeah the actual um, the wiring of this isn't actually wired properly um, I don't know what it is that's going on within this but yeah it's a little bit sloppy that's weird so the screw goes there and on that side I've never seen that before on a plug it's always been there and there that's weird okay I'll have to do that off video I need to rewire that and I need to rewire my amplifier as well but yeah that's just an awesome piece of image stage line stuff yeah definitely gonna I've got a flight case that this will go in. This will sit in a lovely flight case that I've got, um, which I wasn't sure if I'm going to use it again, but now that I've got this, I might use it because it'll keep it all nice and tidy. Um, it's a little bit dirty that some of these uh, knobble knobs in the groove there is a bit dirty. I'll have to clean those up, but yeah, looking great, looking fab. Works as it should. Uh, so yeah, I'll quickly go through. So let me just reverse you. I think you're all zoomed in still, aren't you? From the uh, yeah. Sorry about that. So actually, hold on. Sorry about the folks in there. But that's your your phones and your booth and your light lamp. Pretty cool. Then all your different things, all your different channels. Pretty good. It's very basic, basic mixer. And I like it. It's very basic, but it's got a unique feature of the echo. Some of the older ones, they've got like all these different sound effects. That would be cool to own one of them, but they're from the quite a ago. When I bent this back, I couldn't bend it all the way, but I bent this one perfectly. So it's all flush. But yeah, in the back of this unit, I do apologise about the focusing, but the camera is just horrendously... It's better with your phone when you're doing things like this. But yeah, you can see all your inputs at the back. So you've got three phono inputs, two CD inputs. And you've got line A and B, so you can switch between the two. So essentially you've got five channels, and you've got your master, your booth, and your record. I think it's a cool little thing. This is probably worth... Uh, I would say around 60 quid like if you 60 70 quid in, in this condition it's 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 what it's worth but anyways that's going to be it for this one until I get everything so I get until I get more updates and more this might be a part three I'm not sure if I get any more stuff it'll be a part three but we'll see how it goes but anyways I hope you enjoy this video it's been DJ Sam uh, please like and subscribe share with your friends comment I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.